Hello and welcome to MAV TV. I'm Miley. This week's challenge is to donate to the Kima Bag Drive and or attends the Wednesday service hour. And I am Neptune. The event of the week is Kima Bag Wednesday service hour after school in the Commons from 2.35 to 3.30 p.m. today. The long-awaited Key Club Trick or Treat event is finally back. In order for the event to succeed, we need lots of candy. You can earn up to one service hour for one bag of candy donated. Please leave donations in the dark green bin located at the main entrance. Key Club is also putting on an event at Mountainside from 4 to 6 p.m. on October 31st for pumpkin decorating, photo booth, raffles, face painting, and more. Speaking of candy, the polls piece for today is the question, what is your favorite candy? <laughs> Around and asking people what their favorite candy bar is in the spirit of Halloween. Uh, my favorite kind of candy bar is Twix. Almond Joys. I like Butterfingers. M&M's in bar form. Dove Dark Chocolate bar. Bring me one. Twix probably. Milky Ways. Hundred grand. Hey Mavs, we had a lot of interesting answers today. Anyway, go oh, Mavs! Hey Mavs, we have a Unity Assembly on November 14th where we will be representing different identities and backgrounds at our school. One way we'll be doing this is through a flag walk. For the flag walk, we need people to hold a flag from the country that represents them and their culture. You will need to be present at the assembly practice on November 14th at 6.40 a.m. for a run through to be able to participate. Please sign up no later than October 31st using the link in the announcements. Hey Mavs, if you're interested in playing some volleyball and identify as male or non-binary, then we have the event for you, Labulov. The tournament will take place on November 9th. This is a grade level competition that you and your friends can compete in to win the ultimate title of Labulov champions at MHS for the year of 2023 to 2024 and spirit points for your grade. There can be up to 12 people per team and six playing at a time, but make sure you sub everyone in and out. Also make sure you choose wisely because once the game starts, you can't switch your team. You also need to find a coach to get you all ready to win. Practice will begin at 4.30 and go till 5.30 before the tournament, and the games will begin at 6 p.m. Come pick up your sign-up forms found on the side of the shoebox. They're due by November 8th to be able to play. Have fun and go find your team. Come spread some fall spirit and buy boograms for your friends this week. Boograms will be sold in the shoebox during lunches for 50 cents each and will come with two pieces of candy. Today is the last day of this October drive and the chemo bag drive. If you brought anything to donate, turn them in and get a service hour. This next segment is a highlight for the band. Ah, the band, the largest elective family in the entire extracurricular kingdom. The world of band has many different species, from the young concert band to the veteran wind ensemble. There is no shortage of diversity in the band world. Here we see the Musicalis Kalidos, or band kids, in their natural habitat, the band room, where most band members spend their time practicing, performing, and playing music. Let's take a closer look at the life of the band. Here we see the Betis Concertis, or concert band, the smallest subclass of the band, with roughly 25 members. These small fry are just starting out on their musical journey. Moving up the hierarchy, we have the Betis Symphonis, or symphonic band. These mid-ranking members have impressive skill in their craft and was one of the largest bands in the musical kingdom. And at the top, we have the Apex Beatus, the Wind Ensemble. This is the most experienced and powerful band in the entire musical kingdom. They excel at the craft and most of them play more than two instruments. As you can see, the band is a massive group of many diverse individuals where everyone has a part to play and everyone works hard to deliver the best musical experience to any audience they play for. And now you know a little bit more about the world of band. Hey Mavs, the President's Committee is proud to bring back No Shave November to Mountainside. This is a month-long fundraiser where all proceeds will go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, Fight Colorectal Cancer, and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The mission of No Shave November is to increase awareness and funding for cancer research by embracing our hair, which is something that many cancer patients lose, and letting it grow the entire month of November. If you'd like to participate in this hair growing competition, please come to the shoebox on Wednesday, November 1st with a cleanly shaven face or legs so that we can take a photo to use for comparison at the end of the month. For every student and teacher who participates, leader will, leadership will donate $5 per person. At the end of the month, we will give a trophy and cologne or perfume to the winning student and staff member. Do you like horror movies? 
What's your favorite horror movie? Something psychological? A thriller, maybe? Something dark and scary and mysterious? Today, we went around asking Mavericks what their favorite horror movies were. What's your favorite horror movie, Dylan? Stranger Things. I don't, it's not a movie, but Stranger Things is pretty good. Get out. Crimson Peak. Probably Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, I think my favorite horror movie is the movie Jaws. Scream. The Titanic. Titanic, the legend goes on. The Purge. Gonna have a favorite when I watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I'm gonna go with Hereditary. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> That's all for today, and remember, go Mavs! Ow. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of MAV TV. 